Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 89 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, I've got a lot of armor upgrades to do, which I'm going to mostly do off camera, because, let's be honest, uh, it would be boring to watch me uh, craft a bunch of things in this Draconic Evolution crafting system uh, over the next few minutes. So, I am implementing as much of this in an automated way as possible. Uh, basically, uh, I want to apply um, some upgrades. Uh, I've got this guy, which is an RF capacity uh, upgrade key, which basically makes it so that anything that gets this upgrade can store more RF. And I'm going to apply that to the following five items. Uh, so if I drop this in here, for example, it should get extracted out and start crafting and then it should get extracted out and placed into here. And I'm gonna do the same with all my armor. Basically, it's gonna let my armor and my draconic battery hold more RF, which is important. Uh, the reason I wanna do this, uh, as you may or may not guess, is I'm about to go fight the Chaos Dragon. Uh, and so in theory, that should extract out, and then, yeah, sweet, nice. So this will cycle through and take care of everything. So this guy can now hold 384 million RF. Uh, we're gonna do this for all the RF upgrades, and then we're gonna do the same. Uh, I made 13 sets of items, because I need to do five RF upgrades, four for the armor and one for the flux capacitor, that's five. But then I need four upgrades for shield and four upgrades for shield recovery. So that's four plus four plus five is 13, which is why I have 13 sets of upgrade items in each of these guys. Cool. So uh, upgrading all my armor uh, for shield, shield recovery, and then also RF, and I'm also upgrading uh, this battery dude for RF. So uh, basically, that's what I'm working on. So the next tier of upgrade, uh, which I'm going to need to take a look at in a moment, is going to need uh, uh, some nether stars, some draconic cores, and some emeralds. So basically, I'll get that ready by doing this, uh, some emeralds. Some draconic cores. And I think it was wyvern cores, right? Uh, for tier two, yeah, wyvern cores. Right, and that'll be 12 more of those. Ooh, I need more draconium. Yeah, I could probably do something about that. Uh, so long story short, that's what we're doing, right? Uh, so now that all of you've gotten your upgrade keys for that, I'm going to, you're probably just a rendering bug. Uh, we're going to remove this. We're gonna put a shield upgrade in there and you guys are gonna get shield upgrades to take care of things a little bit better. Meanwhile, I'm gonna pop down here to my resonant furnace and drop this guy in. I'm gonna drop some draconium more in there and hopefully that'll help things out. Sweet. Uh, you know what I might want is this guy, acceleration upgrade. And suddenly lots of draconium dust. Uh, I'm gonna have to go probably harvesting draconium in a bit. Uh, but for now, this should hide me over for what I need to do. Right? Sweet. So take care of all that processing. Acceleration wand, is it OP? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I've always argued that like, if you're accelerating time waiting, like that's not really OP. Like certain mods balance around the time it takes to do things and that's fine. Um, but like, frankly, I could just like do a cut here and be like, all right, we'll be back in five minutes when this is all done processing. Or I can hit that wand a few times. And either way, to you, the viewer, it really doesn't make much difference, right? Um, so now can I get my 13 wyverns, so 12 more? Nice. Cool. And you finished doing all your processing? Nice, did you finish? You finished, beautiful. So now uh, let's swap this key out over here for this one uh, and we'll throw the armor in and uh, boom, boom, boom. So you'll notice by the way that my armor now has 76 armor uh, per piece, which is an upgrade from whatever it was before. Uh, and pretty much all these guys are, well, I think we just did, well, it's 76 now, but we're doing shield capacity now. So this one will uh, upgrade my armor capacity. The other one was armor recovery that we just did, which makes it, you know, recharge the armor faster, right? So this guy now has, wow, 153. Nice, that's what's up. That's totally what's up. So we'll be back in a few minutes when this is all done and I've upgraded all my stats to uh, to awakened tier. See, this is the kind of boring off camera work that you guys don't get to see all that often. 
mining for draconium. Yeah, yeah, hit me all you want. I'm teleporting out of here. Whoosh. And to home we go. Uh, yay. So you guys finished doing your thing. Uh, may or may not. I think... I think I don't have draconium set to automate, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. So what I've been doing usually, because I kinda, I haven't decided how I wanna automate that, if I wanna automate it even. Usually, um, I mean, there's there's a very small number of recipes that need dust. Um, so I probably should just automate it. And then what happens usually is I go to craft those recipes and on demand crafts the dust, and then the dust falls into the automation chain and starts uh, doing things. So that's, you know, bad times. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But for now, um, Draconium's on its way. Um, cool. Are you guys all done and stuff? Nice. All right. So you need, uh, I think RF upgrade is next. So move these guys into here. And now they're all going to be able to hold even more RF. Cool. So uh, what was 348 will presumably be able to hold more. That's an interesting recipe. Nice and quick. Now it's 512. Sweet. Back in a few. Oh, probably a good idea to recharge all my handheld items. Yeah, probably not bad at all. Oh, I also had to, uh, reason I have a mob tool on me. I mean, we ran out of uh, weather skeleton skulls, believe it or not. So I had to turn this thing back on. We were low on nether stars. All right, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we should be at Draconic Tier on all these guys. Nice. That's what's up. And Draconic Tier on my flux capacitor. Beautiful. So let's put on our set of armor. Yeah, look at all that power. <laughs> I didn't even have enough power inside my uh, capacitor here to fill up my armor. Sweet. But he's going to quickly fill up with his 640 million uh, RF capacity for storage. And then he's going to dump all that power into my armor, which you can see on the blue bar on the bottom left filling up. Uh, total armor capacity is now 2048, so significantly improved uh, over previous tiers. Sweet. Uh, and we can store about a billion RF in our armor and 640 million RF in the flux capacitor. So each of these guys stores 256, so a little over a billion RF uh, <laughs> stored in my armor. So my armor literally holding about a billion RF. How, uh, how ridiculous is that? <laughs> oh, it's good times. I, 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 I only like this mod because of the ridiculous numbers uh, that, it, that it demands. I mean, I mean, I, that's probably not true. I like it for other reasons, too. Like, it's, 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 it's a fun mod, right? It's, it's totally OP. It's totally broken. Uh, but it's fun, and that's what counts, right? Like, we all have a good time playing with it. So, uh, and, and to be fair, you do need this for the, for, the, for the Chaos Dragon fight. Like, it is not an easy fight by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so we've got, uh, let's just review our gear, right? We've got a really nice uh, bow ready to shoot lots of bad guys. Uh, we've got a really nice capacitor, which is charged up as pretty much as full as it can be, I imagine. Um, and uh, I don't think I can get a better capacitor than this at this point, so that sounds pretty cool. 640 million RF sounds like a good number to hang out with. Uh, I think we're ready to pop over to the end uh, and give this fight a try. So step one of doing the shenanigans that we need to do. Uh, I can put away my angel ring, which I was using temporarily while my armor was being upgraded, uh, is to pop over to the end. End portal, dial once. Sorry, teleportation. Hooray. Pop into the end. Woot. And now we have to find a dragon. All right, so Chaos Dragon spawns every 10,000-ish blocks. So... 10,000 blocks in that direction, 10,000 blocks in that direction, 10,000 blocks in that direction, 10,000 blocks in that direction. Um, and then, so like we can go to like zero, negative 10,000, zero, positive 10,000, negative 10,000, zero, positive 10,000, zero, right? And then we can go uh, positive 20,000, zero, positive 20,000, 10,000, positive 20,000, negative 1,000, right? And we can go along those lines. So that's where the Chaos Islands should be. So let's... Um, Let's bring up our flight speed here, because we're going to want pretty much a decent amount of flight speed, right? 600% sounds pretty cool. Was there a speed upgrade on flight? I don't think so. It was just uh, movement speed on my leggings, which I, eh, I'm not going to worry about too much. So let's just go uh, this way. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to mark 
which direction I went, right, with uh, with that guy, right? Because uh, we might at some point want to fight, wow, I moved a lot faster than I thought I would, uh, fight multiples of these guys. So I'm just going to head south um, and just zoom. Luckily, uh, Draconic Flight is pretty darn fast. Like, I've already covered almost 2,000 blocks in the Z direction. Uh, so we're about a fifth of the way there. Not too shabby. Uh, so let's come back in a minute when we get to about 90% of the way there. Uh, we're already a third of the way there, so this won't be long. All right, guys, we're here. Chaos Dragon fight time. All right, I think first off, just like the normal dragon, we have to shut down. Uh, oh, uh, so I'm getting shot a lot. <laughs> these, these, these things hurt. Uh, what he's shooting at me quite a bit. Uh, that's why we need to be quite ready. Yeah, so see my entropy going down? Well, it was down if you go back a few seconds. He hurts. He hurts a lot. I think... Really, ah, critical damage. Oh boy. I took damage to the point where I would have died there. Uh, one of the nice things that, you know, your Draconic Armor does is it protects you from dying. Um, but, wow, did that hurt a lot. I very much almost died there. Holy cow, that was close. Uh, let's get... That was that was that was dangerously close to like goodbye direwolf. I have to shut down all these things to even be able to damage him. I'm pretty sure. So unlike yeah, see, unlike the normal dragon where they heal you or, or they heal the dragon, uh, these things actually um, prevent him from receiving damage at all. Oh boy, close, 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 close. Critical damage. See, see. Uh, I'm actually, like, in a bad position right now, believe it or not. Um, mostly as a count of the fact that I have almost completely drained my 640 million RF battery. It, it, it really hurts the battery usage quite a bit when you take that critical damage. It drains a ton of power to keep you alive, um, and that absolutely just happened twice. So, I've already used up my battery that I brought with me to keep my armor up and running. So, my armor is not in the greatest of shape. Oh boy. Critical damage. Again. Dude, these things just catch up with you, don't they? I feel like they're a little bit more aggressive than they were in 110. Woo, this dragon's crazy. Remember when I told you you absolutely need this armor? I wasn't kidding. Critical damage. Standing still is really a bad idea. Really, really. Sitting still at all seems to be a really bad idea. Uh, now one of the keys here is, um, you know, obviously fast flight speed helps. But, like, swooping in, taking out the crystals. Woof! See, entropy causes my shield to regen slower, right? So it's regening faster as the entropy cools down. Um, that's absolutely a thing. Woo. Harder than it looks, guys. Harder than it looks. But I'm, I think I've got most of the, the protective crystals shut down. Wow, look at all that. All those projectiles coming directly from me. Alright, what do we got by way of crystals left here? This one seems to be online still. Come on, there's got to be a hole here. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I've still... Luckily, I upgraded the RF capacity of my shields. Is he vulnerable now? He is. He's vulnerable. Grave could not be placed. What? 
It was so close. I almost had him. That was a tough fight. All right. Uh, so I'm going to basically want my angel ring. And we're going to want to try and figure out if a grave got placed. But I should be able to go down there and finish him off. Uh, so let's come back in a minute once I've uh, used my angel ring to fly out there. I'm not. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that grave could not be placed message. Uh, that's not a good sound. So I'm going to figure out what's up with that. All right, guys. So I found out what uh, grave could not be placed does. Uh, it makes it so that your items just fall on the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! That was not exciting. Uh, so like I literally flew back there expecting to to see something along the lines of like i didn't know what to expect honestly because it said grave could not be placed i was hoping that that was like a, 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 a like a, a fake error it wasn't no it absolutely did not place my grave uh so unfortunately some of my items were lost uh as a result of the fight i flew around uh as soon as i got over there i saw my items on the ground so like i didn't even have time to start recording because dragon was shooting at me and i needed to get those items so like i flew Grabbed all my items. Uh, luckily, my magnet ring was right there. So uh, it ma like as soon as I got it, I right-clicked it, and it started magneting up the rest of my items. And then I had to teleport out of there because things were nuts. Um, and I, I lost my sword. I lost uh, the hammer that I just made, the crescent hammer. Um, I can put my angel ring back because I don't need him anymore. What else did I lose? Uh, I lost some burgers. So let's get some more cheeseburgers to eat, bacon cheeseburgers. That sounds cool. Uh, I lost, let's see, I have my wireless crafting grid. I lost my mana tablet. I lost my ender pouch. Probably want to remake one of those. It was not a bad idea. So luckily the things I lost aren't too hard to replace. I'm really lucky that I didn't lose any of my draconic gear because that would have caused me to have to re-upgrade everything. So luckily that's all well and good. Um, and, and my bow as well. But I definitely lost my sword, which is a bummer. Uh, so what do I have sword-wise? Uh, I have the old dire sword. Let's, let's use that for now and maybe we'll get something better in the future. Uh, is there anything else that I might desperately need? Uh, to take with me on this fight. I lost my void thingy that had a bunch of blocks inside of it, but I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just bring cobblestone with us to, to fill that spot. Uh, and otherwise, I think I'm now good. Just my mana tablet, which I should probably actually make another one of uh, because that does power some of my things and whatnot. Uh, so let's get a diamond. Been a while since we looked at Titania, huh? Feels like a long time since I played that. Cool. I guess I uh, do have to go out there anyway, don't I, to charge this guy. Uh, so what are these guys' modes right now? Hopefully one of you is in fill up the pool thing. All right, I might have to get out. Luckily, I found my bag as well. I would have been really upset if I lost this bag. That would have been a bad time. You would have come back to a pretty ragey dire wolf. Now we're talking. Filling up the tablet. Sweet. Yeah, there would have been much raging if I had lost this bag. Because I don't even know what's in here, right? I have no idea. If you asked me what was in this bag right now, I would say, I don't know, a bunch of tools. That would be my literal answer to you. Um... So yeah, really glad I didn't lose that. The good news is, is the dragon still is low on health, so I should be able to pop back over there. Let's see, dial up the end portal and fly out in that general direction, and hopefully nothing crazy happened. When I was out there before and got my stuff back, uh, he definitely was alive still. All right, getting close. Should be coming in pretty soon here. So this dragon should be a cakewalk to finish off now. There he is. See, look, he likes to fly underneath the island now. I don't know what's up with that. Can I even hit him from this distance? Probably not. All right, dragon, you're mine now. You got nothing on me. Nice. Rip. And the dragon is down. That was so close. I almost killed him without dying. Uh, so one of the things that happens here... Oh, hello, explosions and bombs and kabooms and wow. Yeah, good times occur right now. So these lightning strikes start breaking down uh, the nearby island, right? And basically we want to dig straight down into this area. 
Did I get a heart or something from him? That would be cool. Let's go down. Ow, 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 ow. Luckily shielding. Told you I needed insane armor. Alright, down we go through obsidian. Slowly but surely through obsidian. Why did it have to be obsidian? Hopefully I'm in a good position here. Oh, now we're talking draconium infused obsidian. Now I know we're getting to the right spot. Even more shenanigans. I should have made like a 3x3 three three miner, but eh, it's all good. Hello, there we go. Nice. Alright, so what we now have access to is this, the Chaos Shard, uh, which is pretty much... Oh, and lots of experience, apparently, too. Ooh, look at all that experience. Yeah, it's, that's, that's a silly number. Uh, so, uh, Chaos Shard. When we break this, the island we're on is going to detonate. We didn't see it before because the dragon was obviously killing us pretty badly. Um, but, long story short, there was a force field around this shard crystal. And it breaks down or, or gets removed once the dragon dies. So you can't come get this crystal until you've killed the dragon at this island. Uh, the crystal has a force field around it that's completely impenetrable. But, I should be able to harvest you now. And when I do so, that's when the fun begins. Hooray! We got five Chaos Shards. Sweet. Uh, and we need to get out of here, because now it's time for a big explosion to occur. Like, really big. We just, we just detonated a pretty nasty kaboom. Uh, so by breaking that Chaos Shard, a little bit of instability was implemented. And, uh... Yeah, that shaking is like I'm not touching the mouse at all, I promise. That's that's the effect of the explosion getting ready. There's a big rumble and then the calm before the storm. Kaboom! Goodbye, island. I like to back away a little bit because it is actually quite a damaging explosion. Uh, I think my armor will protect me, but considering we just had a really tough run-in with with corpse runs, it was not it was not fun. Uh, getting my stuff back. Uh, I think it's safe to say that we should stay at a distance here. That's an explosion. Hello. Hello, explosion. Goodbye, island. So that was the Chaos Dragon's Island. It is no more. One thing I gotta say, really nice explosion uh, added in Draconic Evolution. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. To home we go. Whoosh. So that is the final end boss of Draconic Evolution, as it stands right now. Uh, you get Chaos Shards from that. Woot. And, uh, oh, I got a heart too. Nice. Chaos Shards can be used for a few things. Uh, one is they can create the Draconic Reactor Core, if we want to get into the, Tron the, the Draconic Reactor. Um, and two, they can be used to make Chaotic Cores for 800 million RF per crafting operation. Not to mention the Awakened Cores we need, right? So, uh, yeah, that's good times. And Chaotic Cores, uh, you need one of those and two Dragon Eggs per uh, upgrade to a Chaotic Tier. So anything you want to implement um, as a Chaotic Tier, which is an upgrade path that you can totally do. So first off, uh, we would need a few of them just to get the Chaotic Infusion fusion Crafting Injector going, right? Um, and then we can Chaotic Upgrade our stuff. Um, you're also going to need one of them to make reactor stabilizers. So you need that for reactors as well a little bit. Um, so yeah, like if you wanted to, uh, upgrade to chaotic draconic bow, for example, to have chaotic level arrow damage, speed, and draw speed, you would need, uh, first to get about, I don't know, 10-ish. Well, I mean, it's only five here, but the upgrades you use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so we need eight total Chaotic Tier injectors, right? Uh, so we need to kill another dragon in order to do that. And then, in addition to the eight, we'd need enough Chaotic things to upgrade the gear, right? One per upgrade. But it sounds like it might be fun, so we might consider that. Uh, but yeah, we defeated the Chaos Dragon, and that is something that I'm a little proud of.
It uh, We lost the first fight, but, I mean, you know, we came back and finished the job. It was close, though. It really was. Um, but, yeah, we're going to we're gonna need to be a little bit more careful. Not that I wasn't being careful, but a little bit more careful next time we go fight this boss. I might make a second flux capacitor. That might be the route to take. Um, just to have an extra bit of battery power for these guys, right? Because they all did a good job, you know, until the end. I, I just needed a little bit more power to survive that fight. Oh, well. Lessons learned. So now I already went south, and didn't I... Oh, right. Uh, didn't I place, like, a thing here? I think this gets reset when you teleport. I don't know. I guess maybe something, sort of, perhaps. I guess the thing got lost. Uh, long story short, we already went south. Let's go north this time. Now, you can go further south and hit a 20,000 uh, access dragon, right? So it would be uh, 10,000, and then there's another dragon at 20,000. But the dragons that are further away get incrementally more difficult to fight. So at 10,000, he was easy. At 20,000, he's harder. So we want to probably kill all the 10,000 dragons first and then kill all the, you know, 20 dragons. I'm probably not going to kill a lot of them because I usually don't go too deep into it, right? Usually what I do um, is just kill a few just to get a few nifty upgrades. But if you really wanted to, like, fully complete this, you'd probably have to kill a handful of these guys uh, to get all the chaotic upgrades and all the things you would possibly want. Um, and eventually we might look into making uh, the draconic reactor that creates a whole bunch of power for us. Uh, but... You know, long story short. And I, you know what I'm going to do this time is if I get into real trouble, I'm going to teleport out uh, and recharge my batteries and come back. Because that is a much better strategy than trying to survive and possibly dying. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, you know, we you could, uh, I mean, obviously there's a reason to keep killing them, right? If you want to have multiple draconic reactors. But we'll see about that. For now, uh, what I'm going to do is get ready to fight another dragon. So we're going to try this again and hopefully succeed without death. Because... Like I said, death was bad. I didn't enjoy that experience. And we definitely lost a few items. And luckily, we didn't lose uh, too many items. Uh, otherwise, it would have been bad. Let's uh, let's just check TPS real quick. Uh, we're generating a lot of terrain, and I don't want lag during the time that I fight this dragon. So once terrain gen calms down, we'll fight him. All right, I think it's calmed down. At least enough. So there should be a dragon right here. Hello, dragon. Found you. Found you. Shoot all the things. Whoa, Nelly, that was close. Oh, critical damage. Close one, close one, close one. The problem is, is that all those, those projectiles start grouping up with each other. And if you let them hit you, it's like all at once. Boom. Serious business critical damage. Right? Hey, that should have been a hit. That was totally like a good shot. And I think I can actually hit these projectiles with my... I can hit something. Maybe the blue ones I can hit with my arrows, but typically it's better to just avoid them. Nice, took out two crystals there. Almost critical damage. Remember, critical damage is the one that really zaps your power. How's my flux capacity doing? Okay. So if, if it has to protect me from critical damage, that's a huge power drain on my armor and therefore on my capacitor, right? Like, that that was probably a huge amount of power just drained, right? Um, yeah, we're, like, killing it on power now. So at this point, uh, I've kind of lost track of which crystals I've killed. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice. Letting a few things hit you and then getting away from it is probably not a bad strategy. Come on, you die. This one is really tricky to hit for whatever reason. Like, I feel like there's a lot of holes in this thing and I'm just failing to hit them. Nice. 
All right, there was one over here-ish. Whew, crazy shenanigans. Yeah, I got that one. Our entropy is pretty high, so my armor is pretty low right now, but it's 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 recharging. Luckily, I put those shield recovery upgrades in. Got it. There's another one here that I have to get. I think I got that one. I think I got that one. No, I didn't. I'm gonna zip across. All right, are you vulnerable yet? He is, he's vulnerable. Maybe not. Thought I cleared all these, but maybe I didn't. Oh, critical damage. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt my batteries a lot. Come here, Chaos Dragon. Where'd you go? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is an intense fight, guys. Credit where credit's due. This is a crazy fight. Come back here. He is fast, too. Like, I'm fast, too, on the, on the horizon. Like, but, but flying up and down, I'm not quite as fast. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. That's what's up. Whew, that was another close one. It didn't say critical damage, so I'm actually okay. But it was definitely close. So the center of the island, roughly, uh, is where you're going to find the thing. So how about we come back in a sec once I've gotten down there? All right, I should be close. So I'm going through a lot of Draconium-infused obsidian, which usually means I was too close to the center of the island. You kind of want to be like on the outer edge of the center, not directly in the center. Otherwise, you'd do that like, like we just did. All right, cool. All the experience. Uh, and this time, I'm not even going to wait for the explosion to happen. I'm just going to teleport out of here as soon as I grab this. I got my five shards. Let's go home. See you later. No explosions for me. Wahaha. <laughs> nice. So just to be clear, completely out of battery power, almost ran out of power in my bow. I really kind of lucked out in actually fighting and succeeding in that fight. Uh, I did better than my first fight, obviously. Uh, fewer instances of being completely um, killed and uh, my armor protecting me and keeping me alive. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, really, really low on power. Barely survived. All right, I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, one less than successful uh, fight with the Chaos Guardian, but one successful one that was very successful, actually. Uh, we'll come back next episode, and I'm not sure what I'll do. Um, we, I, I, There's a couple things we can do that would be cool to do. Uh, I definitely want to get these things fully upgraded to like tier six if we can, and maybe look into getting tier six solars, because I'm curious as to how much power they will actually generate. Um, and I'd like to see like how silly I can get with power gen. Um, so so um, draconium reactor would be cool to do, and I'd also like to maybe look into uh, doing a rainbow generator and automating that guy um, from extra utilities too. This thing produces a ton of power, like nigh stupid numbers. Um, so we'll see what we can do. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the deal. Take it easy.